Hey, what's happening guys? If you want to drive a MOSFET using an Arduino because you have some sort of high current load you want to use or high sw switching speed, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind and that is that not all MOSFETs are designed to be driven from the 0 to 5 volts that an Arduino can put out. And what you need to look for is the type of MOSFET that is called a logic level MOSFET. So I've got two different MOSFETs here that we're going to take a look at today. The first is a power MOSFET, just a standard IRFP 2907 Zulu and an NTE 2985. Now the IRFP is your standard MOSFET and the NTE is the logic level. So what's the difference and why does it matter in all that? Well, a logic level MOSFET is designed to be turned on fully, that's the keyword, fully, by the logic level, 0 to 5 volts, of a microprocessor, like an Arduino. Now, the key thing we want to look here on these spec sheets is the threshold voltage, the VGS, the gate to source threshold, or the gate threshold voltage are sometimes called. So if we look here at your standard MOSFET, the IRFP 2907Z, you can see the gate threshold voltage is between 2 and 4 volts. Okay, now technically the definition of this is the voltage at which the MOSFET turns off. But for our purposes, let's just say it's where it turns on. Now the gate threshold voltage for the logic level MOSFET is between 1 and 2 volts. Doesn't seem like much, but it does make a difference. And that's what I'm going to show you here in this little demonstration. Okay, so the pinout of both of these MOSFETs is the same. They are gate on the left, drain in the middle, and source on the right. So I made up this little test rig here. We've got 9 volts going into this breadboard. We've got a 1K resistor going to the anode of this diode, and then the, uh, yeah, what did I do there? Sorry, brain fart. The cathode of the diode goes to the drain. Then we have um, a potentiometer over here, so we can vary the voltage going through another 1K resistor. That's going to go into the gate, and then the source goes directly to ground. So turn on the old multimeter here. And we're going to start with the standard MOSFET, the IRFP series. We'll plug it in here like so. Turn on the power supply. And you can see we have zero volts here on the wiper of the uh, potentiometer. So, there's zero volts going to the gate of the MOSFET. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly increase the voltage and watch till it starts conducting when that LED lights up. Let's see if I can do this so we can see everything. So, we're at 2.3 volts, nothing yet. And there we go, we started conducting, you can see the LED is lit at 3.245 volts. So if you're using that with an Arduino, you know, you're already halfway through your analog outputs, right? Well, more than halfway through. You're about, you know, three-fifths of the way through the range. So you've lost all that low end, basically. All right, let's set that back to zero. And we'll take out the standard MOSFET and we'll put in the logic level MOSFET. This is the NTE MOSFET. And we'll do the same experiment again. And we'll see where is the point that it switches on. One point three volts. You can see we're conducting there. 
So we went from what, 3.245 to 1.3, a significant difference in using that. You, you gain so much more range with your Arduino. And like I said, again, this is made to be fully on, so you're getting the full um, current throughput with this Arduino. Let me check the data sheets on what they are for each of these. Okay, so with our IRFP series MOSFET, at 25C, our continuous drain current, which needs to be at 10 volts, is 170 amps. So if you want that 170 amps, you need to be able to give it 10 volts. Now, at 25 degrees C, with our NTE series MOSFET, we're at 30 amps, and that is with our VGS of 5 volts. So that's the difference between them so why would you pick a mosfet over a bjt a bipolar uh, junction transistor well a mosfet is controlled with voltage at the gate whereas a bjt is controlled with current at the base think of the gate and the base as kind of uh, analogs of each other so if you need to switch high current stuff, you definitely want to use the MOSFET because you're controlling it simply with voltage. Whereas if you can use a BJT with your Arduino, you need to control it with current. And remember the Arduino is current limited to a maximum current of what, 200 milliamps I think for, every, for the entire Arduino, every single pin together. So if you're putting, you know, 100 milliamps to drive that BJT. I know 100 milliamps is kind of high, but I'm using that as an example. If you're driving that BJT with 100 milliamps, then you've only got another 100 milliamps left over for the rest of the stuff you're doing with that Arduino. By using the MOSFET, you can keep all of that current handling capability for use with other things and simply control this with voltage. MOSFETs are, are generally used if you're looking to regulate the flow of high current or in narrow pulses or just you know any type of high high power thing you want to choose a mosfet over a bjt bjt's are good for low current low power applications so i hope that helps help you understand how you can use a mosfet with arduino the type of mosfet to use with arduino if you enjoyed this video hope you give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons, and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.